All right, this tune is called Morrison's Jig, which is short for Morrison's Slip Jig. Jig and Slip Jig are two different types of dances. Um, and there are 21 printed versions of this. If I put mine out there, there would be 22. Everybody plays it a little bit different. But it's just kind of a fun one, and it's quite often used to jam, so that's why we're learning it today. All right, we're down here in the C. Moving over to the B. Back to the E. Down here to the A. F, D. Back to the E. Back to the B. Climbing. So we just climb down, we skip the E that time. Now we're going up to the G. Over the D. And that's repeated exactly the same. format is A-A-B-B. -B. So we're moving on to the B, literally. Reaching up to the A. Back to the B. Back to the B. Repeating all of that. Notice sometimes we use C-sharp and sometimes we use C-natural. You need to be aware of who goes where. And it doesn't really resolve. That's just kind of how it ends. It's very popular in jams and it's played at about four to five times the speed, but that's not necessary. Just play and let it flow out of you. This, you're paying attention to do I play every single note or are there ones I skip see I skip the G straight down back to the B now I'm hitting everyone third time through Hit everyone down, everyone up. Over here. I hit every one of those. It's kind of difficult on our instrument because, like I said, it's a horizontal instrument. But if you pay close attention to your bridges, don't look at the strings, look at the bridges. Everything is white, it's one above white, it's one below white. There's only three choices. You can't get lost, just pay attention to your bridges. And that is Morrison's slip jig. <laughs> 